So I ended up shutting down this entire launch for the <laughs> um, Long story short, it wasn't my fault. It was the guy, because I wasn't allowed to near, be near the missile at all, right? So it was the guy that hooked my ribbon cable up. Ah. They didn't do it well enough. And I had connectivity that I could see that current was connected, but I didn't have my control line connected. Brutal. So, yeah. So just a loose but, ribbon cable derailed the entire launch. It did. It did. Yeah, that's, then, that sort of thing but, happens like so much more often than I think people would admit, like like all the time, basically. Yeah, I think one of, uh, a big takeaway, uh, anybody is listening from an engineering standpoint, which I think they are. I hope so. Um, yeah, you can do everything right, and engineering is still going to find new ways to find problems because that's the, that's the nature of the beast is you do development. I mean, good engineering is failing fast and, uh, and finding that stuff out and then fixing it, moving on. Anyone who thinks that, engineering can be done flawlessly has never done engineering. hundred so. percent agree. And, and I think like, you know, when you see these horrible accidents that occur, oftentimes to me, I mean, that's the result of hubris. Somebody didn't want to say, you know, no go. And, right. you know, as a result, you know, people die or like equipment gets damaged and, and you have these horrible disasters. 